let's take the integral of sine of natural log of x all over x dx. When we kind of start scanning this initially, we've kind of got a lot going on here, right? But if you look, whenever we're doing use substitution or integration by substitution, we're always kind of looking for a function within another. And so I would say here, our inside function would be natural log of x because it's inside a sine of x. So let's just follow that path. Let's let u equal natural log of x. Following this path, we then take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. So we get du over dx equals 1 over x. We move the dx to the right side, so we get du equals 1 over x dx. We know we can substitute u in for natural log of x, but we want to also make sure that we can get rid of this dx and substitute du in. Can we see 1 over x dx here? Well, if you look in the denominator, you see we have an x, and we can technically rewrite this as sine of natural log of x times 1 over x dx. And whenever we write it this way, it kind of becomes a little more obvious. du is here the whole time. So we've kind of completed our first step. We've selected u, we found our du, now we're going to sub u and du in. So we get sine of u, replacing natural log with u, times du, because we have 1 over x dx over here. Well, this now looks pretty easy to integrate. I got sine of u du. So the integral of sine of u is going to be negative cosine of u plus c. And now we've completed kind of step two here. We've integrated after substituting u and du in. And so all we have left is doing step three, replace our u with the function of x that we originally set it equal to. And so we'll end up getting negative cosine of natural log of x plus c, because we replace u with natural log of x. I recommend you guys kind of writing these steps down kind of in your own words somewhere in your notes. 